All right, we are back here in the Laser Lounge next to Tumblr Town. We've moved the 30 watt fiber so we have enough room here to assemble. This is the uh, tower here with the uh, motorized uh, up and down for focus. And here, if you were going to do those plates, like say if you wanted a 300 or a 400 lens, you would use those plates to give you more height so that way you can focus your different size lenses. But we're just going to leave the 110 and the 210 on here for now. Uh, actually what we're going to do is we're going to move this laser, uh, the CO2 fiber or galbo. Once we get it connected we're going to put it over here, move that laptop over here, and then we're going to have the CO2 section and then the fiber section. So we're going to take these. These are our number six Allen. And we're just going to start screwing this to the base. take very much. Looks like about eight foot pounds of torque. As much as I can give it. Give her all she's got. Just trying to feel to make sure that that went down far enough. Because these are a little bit longer. But once that's in position, it's not really going to move. Alright, so that is that. Now the cool thing about this is that this tower has registration marks here on both sides. There is only one pinpoint accurator uh, thing here whatever it's called this thingy that on either side so you can just unscrew these two Phillip heads and put them on the other side here if you want the Galbo head to sit on the other side so you have options here that's what these other holes so you can have it to where the tower is here and the Galbo head is here or you can have it where I have it where the tower is here and the Galbo head is here but the reason why we're gonna put it over here is because the galvo head is going to go back further than this area so to get this in here i'd probably have to set this like this which is not you don't want to do that not with this kind of machine so we'll put it on the longer table all right let's go ahead and get it moved and then get the galvo head on it all right all right this thing is a beast it's extremely heavy i hope this ikea table can hold it so now we gotta figure out, first thing, is to center this on this. So there are um, nuts in here. Let me get Another maker is over here coming from under. And these go in, these little slide nuts, and then you tighten them on here. So you could put this wherever, you just want this head to maximize your space on the breadboard where it's going to be centered. And you can start it here and then move it later to fine tune and adjust it because you may have to uh, level it or you know shim it to make sure that this is level with this. It doesn't need to be level with the ground. This and this have to be on the same level. So if this is like one tick past the left line, you want this one tick past the left line. It needs to be parallel. Yeah, that's what that guy said. So, let me get these in here. Find them. So, shake. So, yeah, you. Your two nuts are way on the left side. I can stop filming for this part. Sorry. The lens. This is so straight. The thing is definitely turned. Yeah. I'm just looking at the center. So you really want the center of the lens to be right about here. That there. Let's see if I can. Oh, that's about 
center of the wheel, huh? Cover all up there. Yeah, that's good. And we're parallel. That's good. So I'm going to tighten them down. It's a little bit to the right, not that way. Let me get a shot of it. And that's the same. So they are level to each other, which is what we want. Make sure all the cables are tight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to move it over here. 